Bravo. They just had that. Well, tr- they, well, they had Love Match Atlanta. I didn't watch that. And, and, and I kind of was hurt. I was kind of hurt because they were trying to emulate me a little bit. Well, you could be hurt, but now and they you didn't could- ask. They don't ask me to come on and help. Like I, you know, me and Jeff have never been asked to BravoCon ever. Do you, I don't know if Bethany and Nini have, but me and Jeff have not been asked. And we and look, we're the like they should bring the originals back. I think. Right. We I made mean, they that never network. Had Tabitha I had 107 Jonathan. episodes. I was like the highest repeated show on the back end of Bravo. Did you know that? No. I do mm-hmm. think if like there was a panel with you and Jeff and Tabitha and all these people, yeah, Can you I think imagine talking go crazy. about the originals. I know. Because it was a different day. Babe. I still love them. No matter if they don't love me, Mama, I still love you. Nini just did an interview literally like oh, a day she or two tra- ago. She, tra- she said a- they did not ask her yeah. for this problem. I think they're done with Nini too. I'm sorry. This well, is just I my mean, honest opinion. She tried to sue them. I yeah, mean, I, I think on. they're done. And and the thing is, you don't go and do terrible things to them like like Kathy Griffin. You don't even their secrets are their secrets, you know. But yet. Yes, there's I, and and by the way, we don't know what's you know. There's two sides of this I mean, truth. There's two sides to a story in this truth. I know they love her. She is Teflon. She is like her. the golden golden child. They will never hate her. They will always bring her back. She knows where. I mean, her and Andy are best friends. I mean, what she am I go supposed, back tomorrow. What am I supposed to do about that? He doesn't like me as much as her. I don't think he don't likes think me. He likes he me, very likes me much to either, my sweetheart. face. He likes me to my face. But then, I don't know. I've always felt like like the redheaded stepchild at that uh, with him a little bit. Well, you have all these other. Well, I mean, I was going to say with these two matchmaking shows I reference you. And what about Lizzie trying to be a Jewish matchmaker, which I was mentoring her when she was shooting? Well, she I was think doing, the network is also she done was with doing Lizzie Savetsky. orthodox. She was doing orthodox matchmaking, which really? is very hard, by the way. That's but, hard. But you know, the one thing is when you get someone not Jewish who comes to you and says, "Hey, I want Jewish," I always say there are three things that I can do. One, I can ask any Jewish person that you're attracted to and ask if they want to date. But you're more likely to go with a reformed or a conservative person. But there's another thing that you might have to do. Will you convert? Like Leah converted to Judaism because she likes Jewish men. But I would so— Is that why she did? Yeah, but I would still— Leah McSweeney? Yeah, I would still. But I think she likes the religion. I I just thought she wanted a storyline. No, it's very family-oriented. She really is. We talk. Remember, she was on my show. I'm, but uh, she was on my yeah, season. I know, but you I, like her better than I do. Sorry, but, but the thing is, well, she was masculine energy. I was working on masculine her energy. But the thing is, like, I always fix up. I am, I am non-denominational, so I always fix up anybody with anybody and ask, and then say, this is the way you can get in. You know, just like if you were gonna go Muslim or you were gonna go Buddhist, like you have to like conform. Who, like when straight men come in, like who is the most requested celebrity? Like I want someone that looks like this. Fa- male or female? Male looking for a female. Brad Pitt. Male looking for a female. Oh, you mean, fe- the, yeah. wait, wait, Brad like, Pitt. Brad Pitt is, is the most the on the want. female side. Really? And it, it used to be Jennifer Aniston on the girl side. It's a little waning there. J-Lo, if you're Latin and you like Latin chicks. Okay, okay. but here's what I'm going to tell you that's going to freak you out. Tell so me. they're J-Lo, um, Angelina Jolie used to be there. I would say, um, well, you know there's this new girl who's the biggest influencer in the world on TikTok. Her name is Alex Earl. No so a lot of guys What are you, like that. 17 years old? No, she's like in her 20s. So oh. they say Jennifer Aniston when she was on Friends, J-Lo when she was younger, Angelina Jolie when she was younger. They do that stupid shit that bugs the crap out of me. So I go, and if the guy's like 50 or 60, I go, so if I had Jennifer Aniston right now, you're going to say no? And they go, oh, no, I would go out with her. And I'm like, okay, but you want somebody younger. So there's a lot of ageism going on. But Brad Pitt and George Clooney are still the gold standard on what the about, men's side. What about the gay guys? Who do they want? The gay, well, I... You know how much I love Luke Evans, okay? I That's your love, person. Like, I want to flip him to the dark side. You know really? how I love him. I love everything about him. If you haven't watched Echo 3, run, don't walk on Apple. Um, but they say, they say, what's the guy that plays The Witcher? What's his name? Who? The one that plays The Witcher on Netflix? I have no idea. Henry Cavill, who's like oh, Superman. They okay. say him. Really? The gays they, want they him? They love him. They huh. say, um, they talk about Chris Pratt. You know, really? and they like him. And then they talk about um, Hemsworth, Chris Hemsworth. Those are probably the three they would Interesting. say. Interesting. I am with— If you're, as, ga- if you're gay. If you're gay right. on the masculine side. On the lesbian side, yeah. they always say, like, um, they're into Dua Lipa right now. A lot of the lesbians really? want to do a Lipa look. I could actually see that. And I think she's beautiful, by the way. On the, I saw her at the Elton John concert. She's insane. She's beautiful. The but girls. they say Dua Lipa, and then they say— um, 
I don't think who else they say. I'm trying to think who else is hot right now. Um, what's the Miley? Act- Miley, I could they, see. I like Miley. If Love. I was a le- if I was a lesbian, we're I'd going go, to the Miley that's concert. My, that's when that my concert's type. announced, that's, that's my type. Is it really been announced? No, but when it is, okay. you and I are going to get tickets. They say Miley sometimes, but it's more like they're into brunettes. Like the lesbians are asking oh, for right. brunettes, not blondes, right now. And I, I I'm like crazed that they'll they'll show ex girlfriends and um, and now I'm getting fluid. Fluid's my favorite one because I can do both. So when you come in and you like both men and women. I can do both, which is like my newest favorite thing. The one I really want to do is trans. And I am working on that right now. I have to learn a little bit more about the trans community because the, it's it, they could be they could be transitioning to the opposite sex but still liking the original sex they are. Which means like they're a lesbian or or they're yes. a man or a homosexual. So I, and sometimes they're opposite. They want the opposite, but it's every trans person is different and I'm working on that because I have to find the person that will date them. And I'm about to like spit. We're, uh, next, I've had a lot the of next trans. Three, on, I mean, it yeah. is still that. It's very hard. There are people out there that have like a fake, you know. Like listen, Gigi they, Gorgeous to me is like the most stunning creature in the world. Like if I was like, you know, a woman, I'd want her. I mean, and like I'm not if, I'm man, I'm sorry, if I were a man, way, I'd want her. By the way, I'm I mean, saying if like, I was a man, I'd want her. And yeah, so Gigi Gorgeous I think is she's, gorgeous. And she's interesting. Well, but, she's also married to the Getty. Getty. But what I told David is you, I said, we need to start hanging out at the Abbey. I haven't been there in so long since I shot the show and I want to start going there on a regular basis. That's fine. And I'm just saying when I was trying to say about trans, because here everyone's going to come for me. I'm trying to say I've talked to a lot of trans people that have like horror stories Mm -hmm. of like this person was just using me for some sick fetish. I wasn't saying. Okay, so I have lots of friends that date trans. But it is strictly in the closet, and they won't take them out. Yeah, of the and date. then that and I had a, a huge fight with my friend. Like he's that's gay, horrible. He's gay, and I said, "This is the meanest thing." Because I went to this really romantic restaurant in Venice the other night, and I was with a girlfriend. And I said, "He was asking me where should I go? Where should I go?" And I go, "You need to take X Y Z out here." And he goes, "No, I only I, we only order in and I, you know have sex in." And I said, "No." Yeah, and that's she the and, and the trans person is beautiful, by the way. I think she's pr- the, one of the prettiest people I've ever seen. And I said, "This is incredibly mean." And I got angry at him and I yelled at him. Yeah, I don't know why someone would put up with that. Um, Before we get into your scent here, which when mm-hmm. I was at your house to go out to dinner with yeah. you, you chased me around and sprayed on me and yeah. I did love it. Yeah. Um, It's attracting the men. I agree with the men, even though you started by saying that I don't want a 10. Mm-hmm. I agree with Perez when Perez was on your show. Oh, it's he's all about, so sweet. It's all about and, Zac and, Efron, and, baby. And, and, you know, oh, he's really cute. Uh, and he changed. Yeah. He's all muscly now. He's gorgeous. Um, go but on. But Perez had the worst. When I first met Perez, he was the meanest, nastiest. He went Nicest. out every secret you ever had and he never came cared and I was terrified of him at one point and I when we put him on the show I was like I don't want this and they go he's changed a lot and he found spirituality he adopt you know he had surrogate children and 